Now for Warren Weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. All right, time to check the forecast. Uh, we're kind of looking beyond today, even though uh, today feels like the last bump before we start warming things back up to summer. Yeah, we got the Grand Prix this weekend. Yeah, and overall things looking like it's going to shape up pretty nicely. And we're in another hit or miss situation though this afternoon when it comes to some of these spotty showers. I'm starting above the clouds and we're going to fly down. So taking that cloud cover off, you can see lightning strikes firing off in Northeast Ohio. But we've had a couple that have just popped around the Detroit area. So let's specifically look at what we're tracking here. So from Ontario off towards the Canton area where we have lightning on our 3D radar. I'll give you more of a street level view because not only are we dealing with one or two lightning strikes, we have a heavy downpour. And so this is along Curry Road, just west of Chubb Road in Salem Township. This stretches close to South Lyon as well. That red indicating some pretty heavy rain, but that's really an isolated blip on radar where most of us are just dealing with the cloud cover. But that will add to some of the rainfall totals. So as we look at the past 24 hours, City Airport Sandusky picked up upward of a half inch of rain from mainly yesterday's showers and non severe storms. And we had about a third of an inch in Mount Clemens, two tenths of an inch in Pontiac, but farther south you went, not as much rain. 68 degrees right now in Detroit, north northeasterly wind sustained at seven miles per hour. And as we scour the map, most of us still in the 60s, Sandusky at 57. 68 at City Airport, 65 in Monroe, 62 off in Ann Arbor. So those temperatures struggle to get to 70 this afternoon. As we check in with our wind gusts, we have wind gusts between 15 to 20 miles per hour, and that's close to what our peak wind gust forecast is today. And so from now till about 4 p.m. is where we'll see those wind gusts peaking closer to 20 miles per hour. Otherwise, throughout the afternoon, these green bars you see here show our sustained winds, which will be closer to about 10 miles per hour. So your forecast through the rest of the afternoon, 70 the forecasted high. If if you're lucky under partly cloudy skies heading into the evening. So I think that's pretty good news if you're heading out to Comerica Park. Overall, we should stay pretty dry. Tonight, 45, mostly clear skies. And with that clearing, you lose the blanket of cloud cover, so we'll be cooler. And that's a chillier start come tomorrow morning. Otherwise, that tees us up for sunshine tomorrow, and we warm back up into the low 70s, 72, the forecasted high. And that starts the warming trend. So we were just talking about the Detroit Grand Prix. Overall, looking rather dry. There's one little chance for rain, and that's going to be Saturday night into the early morning hours of Sunday, but not as much going to be impactful for the daylight hours. So Friday, 76 sunshine, great way to start the Grand Prix. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're on either side of 80. Probably a little more cloud cover Saturday compared to Sunday, where we'll have partly cloudy skies. We will continue this warm up into next week. So we do bring back some shower and storm chances Monday and Tuesday, but we will be climbing into the mid 80s by the time we get towards the middle of next week. If you're looking to get the car wash, though, I would say tomorrow morning would be a good time to do that. Interesting.